Today we're going to talk about what in the world is an inverter generator? Why do you need one? What are the benefits? And we're going to try to answer all the questions that you have that you haven't found an answer to elsewhere. First off, what in the world is an inverter generator? Or maybe what I should answer is, what makes an inverter generator different from a conventional generator? Well, a conventional generator is a motor that turns an alternator, which produces power. Power that looks a lot like a lightning bolt, jagged, dirty, and unreliable. An inverter generator has the same. It has a motor that runs, it spins an alternator, which creates power, but then it has another step where it runs through a rectifier to turn it into DC power. That DC power is then filtered through an inverter, which then puts out pure sine wave electricity, AC. Nice, beautiful, curved lines. The kind of stuff you want so that it doesn't fry your electronics. So what are the benefits of an inverter generator? They're quieter, they use less fuel, they put out clean power, and they can be hooked up in parallel if you need to double the capacity of power coming through it. So I did a video a few months back on the benefits and what exactly an inverter generator was. It was a deeper dive, a lot of questions. So I thought, hey, let's go back and cover the things I didn't cover in the first video. And first thing, I actually misspoke in the first video. So correction is, it's the difference between an inverter generator and an open frame generator. That's not completely true because some inverter generators are actually open frame generators. And what that means is it doesn't have all this plastic or you know insulation built around it, which helps deaden the sound. Here's the difference, 3,500 watt Inverter closed in generator from Harbor Freight, 899. 4,500 watt open frame inverter generator from Harbor Freight, 699, $200 cheaper. Okay, you talked about parallel. I can hook up two generators. What if I wanna hook up three or four or five generators? Can I do that? I mean, you can do a lot of things, but not everything is recommended. Officially, just about every manufacturer out there, including Predator, Honda, only recommend two. They're designed for two. The hookup is made for two, whether it's direct from generator to generator, or if you have a switching port. Now, there are companies out there who make switching boxes that will allow you to hook up three or more generators. There have been people who have done it themselves by rigging up a bunch of different electrical components. But just because you can do something doesn't always mean you should do it. From the factory, they are designed for parallel. That means side by side, two of them. Do inverter generators create less carbon monoxide? And also, do they create less emissions? But here's the thing. One of the beauties of an inverter generator is it uses less fuel because it ramps up or down depending on the load coming through it. So whenever it's idling, it's gonna use less power than your traditional conventional generator, which will end up using full power the whole time. So more power means the engine has to spin faster. With this, the engine spins slower, uses less fuel, which in turn puts out less emissions. Is the routine maintenance the same or less for an inverter generator? Simple answer is they're the same. If you're running your generator every two to three months to make sure it's up and running, if you're changing your oil every 100 hours or once a year, same thing. If you're inspecting your spark plug, same thing. The only difference I would say is most inverter generators, the stuff you need to access is behind panels. So it's gonna require one or two extra screws being taken out. But as far as maintenance, one or the other, they're basically identical. Some people will say, hey, an inverter generator will run longer, last longer, so there's that. But as far as routine maintenance, what most people are asking about, it's identical between an inverter or a conventional generator. So the next one I get all the time is, why would I waste my money on an inverter generator? Won't a surge protector do the same job? No, it won't. Why you ask? Because it doesn't actually clean up the power. All it does is take the high peaks off. All it's gonna do is protect your electronics from getting really high surges of power. But that's not the real long-term issue. A surge protector is gonna protect you from any type of power going too high. The problem with conventional generators that have a high total harmonic distortion, that means how much the electrical wave differs from standard smooth waves to jagged lightning bolt style waves. So the higher that gets, the dirtier the power is. And what that means is it's unreliable. So it's jumping around like this, right? So a surge protector will take those peaks off, but it does nothing for the whole time the power is running all jagged like this. And that is what's gonna fry your electronics. The sensitive stuff needs clean, 
beautiful power to run smoothly. And if it's jumping up and down, eventually you're gonna fry something in the circuitry. But is there a workaround? Actually, yes. So if you don't wanna spend all the extra money on an inverter generator, but you already have a UPS on hand, that's an uninterruptible power supply, here's what you can do. Take your conventional generator, run the power from it to a UPS, charge your UPS, and then run your electronics off of your UPS. The reason your UPS is there is because it has an inverter built in, it takes the power, cleans it up, and then spits it out. Just make sure it's not a pass-through style one. Some of them will pass the wall power through once it's fully charged. What you want to do is to make sure you get one that the power goes into the battery and then out from the battery to the item. One of the biggest benefits of an inverter generator is being able to sit next to it and keep talking to you. That's what I really like about it. So if you're still here at the end of this video, that means I made this video just for you. So hit that subscribe button, stick around because you're gonna get more stuff made just for you that you enjoy. And if you're into inverter generators or you're looking to do a deep dive, check out the first video I did on what makes inverter generators special where I get into some of the technicalities. And with that guys, Stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.